Hi, Martin here. Say I recently purchased this fuel injector tester and cleaner. Now, one of the things, um, I guess I'm a little disappointed about it, it does not have a reverse flush setting. And none of the fittings that are provided with it, like say this one right here, that you'll find up here in the top rail, will accommodate an injector that you can do a reverse flush in. Especially, let's say, like this one out of a Volvo. I mean, just look at the size of that. There's no way that's going in there, right? Not even this one here. It's just not quite enough depth in there. And the pintle is hitting the bottom side of this. And even if I took, let's say, like a Denso or even a Bosch, a Bosch will just about make it, but not quite, I would call safe. Now, we're going to do a little mod to these and then there's a setting right on here. It's the number two, and it's called the general spray test. Yeah, that's it. And that runs for 15 seconds, holds the injectors at wide open, and it'd be great for a reverse flush. Okay, right here it's number two, general spray test. That's where I have it set right now. It'll run for 15 seconds. First we'll uh, drain these, close the drain, and we'll start. You see the gauge comes clear up to like 80 psi, actually above, but when it sprays it comes down to about 43, 45. So there you go. It's counting down, three, two, one, and there we go. So I think this would be perfect for a reverse flush setting. All right, so let's get started. I'll show you what mod we're going to make to these fittings, get them put into this rail, and we'll try it out. All right, what I'm going to use is this stepper bit. It's a 1 8 inch to half inch. Very narrow and long. And it's, it's going to work great. And then we're going to just clamp the fitting into a vise and make a little room for those injectors. All right, you're going to want to check this quite often. You know, you don't want to go too far. And it's just opening up the hole a little bit on this side. Now, see, I'm going to bring it up to where this says 730 seconds is showing. So it's the fourth step. Now just deeper this side here. Now when it comes to flaring this out and get deburring it, be very careful not to remove too much material as that surface needs to be there to seal against the O-ring inside the fuel rail. Just like that. And naturally, they'll fit these absolutely perfect. See, it comes right down to a nice stopping point. All right, now that we got all these fittings all drilled out, and I pulled the fuel rail off the tester, and we'll change these fittings out. Now, if yours only did come with the one set of fittings, that's all right. You just simply use these to make the mod on. Just FYI, there are O-rings in here. And these testers do come with another set of O-rings. It's 
So really, there's no reason to get them very tight at all. Once it seats up against that O-ring, you got it. So, that also, you want to be careful not to drill out that end too big. Because you still want it to seal against the O-ring that's in here. Otherwise, it's going to end up leaking on you. We'll see how well I did. I just want to show you the difference between the two. Here's, you know, the way the factory came. That one as well. And then you jump down here to this one here. And if you look down in there, you can kind of see the O-ring. But we're still making a seal against, you know, part of it. We should be okay. All right, got them all installed. Put the rail back on here. We'll see what it does. I always like to use a uh, Q-tip and a Vaseline on these O-rings. That way you don't damage them. And then the fittings go on so much easier as well. When you're placing these fittings on the bottom, it's actually best to put those on first and then place the fuel injector into the rail. Makes it a little bit easier. All right, we got our injectors in upside down to do a reverse flush. All right, we set this on number two. That is general spray test. I'm all, when I usually start this, I always am ready to hit the stop button just in case there's any leaks or anything like that. All right, I hit start. First, it'll do like a leak test. So you see the pressure come way up. There we are, we're running right at 40 PSI. And hit start. Now it's not uncommon sometimes to see them um, leaking like that, especially on a reverse flush. So now power was supplied and they're all working. All right, one more time. That's something I'll have to look into that injector there. Do an ultrasonic bath on it. But as you can see, it works really quite well. And you can just do this multiple times if you want. And I could increase the pressure too. There, that went all the way up to 60 PSI on that one. All right, well, there you have it. That actually turned out pretty good. I'm glad I was able to make it have that reverse flush option because that was one of the things I was looking for when I bought one of these testers and I was a little disappointed when I got it and it wasn't technically capable of it. So easy mod, you know, drill out those fittings right there and uh, you're set to go. And then just use the number two setting, the general spray test, which holds the injectors open for 15 seconds. All right, hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, I'd sure appreciate the thumbs up that helps out the channel immensely. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and the little bell symbol right next to it. 
and that way you get notifications of my upcoming videos. And check out the description down below where I've got Amazon links to some of the products and tools that we used in the video. And that helps the channel out financially. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.